Continuing our focus on the Giro, InCycle takes a look at the key mountain stages that could well decide the Maglia Rosa for 2014. This week we look at stage 19, which features the fearsome individual time trial at Monte Grappa. Our guide through this challenging mountain time trial is former Tour de France stage winner Eros Pauli. Twenty-one days since the Giro began in Ireland, the culturally historical town of Bassano del Grappa, 2,200 kilometres away from Belfast, will be the starting point for the 19th stage. Home to some of the most fierce urban fighting during the Second World War, 70 years later, riders will battle it out for the Maglia Rosa. This challenging uphill time trial consists of two segments. The first, a flat seven-kilometer sector that leads towards the foot of the Monte Grappa climb. The following 19 kilometers are almost exclusively uphill, 45 minutes of riding flat out, with tight hairpins destroying the rider's rhythm and gradients varying from 8 to 15 percent. It's likely that someone's GC hopes will be lost on this stage. It's a very important thing also do a time trial to find the perfect line to do the corner, just because it's more easy to give again speed to your legs. Many spectators believe the Giro doesn't start until the mountains, yet nothing could be further from the truth. Although the Giro may be a true test of grit and determination, it is equally a test of tactics. Every needless pedal stroke in the first few days will be felt tenfold later in the race. There's no escaping this second and final individual time trial, where no teammate can bring you home. You're on your own for this one. Keeping a strong cadence and finding rhythm is absolutely vital. Perfect rhythm is between 80, 90, 95 on the mountain. On the flight, normally about 100, 105. In a 6 km, you can lose also two minutes if you're not good. If you're not good, if you lose the rhythm, if you're tired. Unlike the time trial on stage 12, here a strong climber may find themselves in an advantage. Usually seen trying to limit their losses on days like today, the uphill climb may well see the likes of Quintana or Pozzovivo crown the winner. The first category mountain here should be enough to separate the pack. You also just for support, the concentration, the pain all over your body. Not just the legs, also the shoulder, the back. Because when they find a, a section like this, 14%, you push the whole your body. You pull your arm, you push with your shoulder, and with your back. So this last part, this last five minutes will be terrible. 12%, see how this is really the last our session on this time trial. I can see the steep long line on my right in front of me. Mamma mia! The final sting in the tail comes in the last five kilometers, with 21 switchbacks in this section and a multitude of gradients. From 7 to 15 percent, it can certainly favor the smaller, lighter climber. Once through the switchbacks, it's an ascent through the clouds and on to glory. This will be the decisive push before riders hit stage 20, which includes the infamous ascent of Monte Zoncolan. Home to the Giro gods, riders' energy will need to be in reserve for this penultimate stage. A gruelling test of endurance at the end of the Giro.